Hello, today I will be demonstrating the use of win for k 3 Suite with N1MM Plus contest logging software and an Elecraft K3. In particular, I want to show some new functionality of win for k 3 Suite, which allows interoperability with the N1MM Plus Spectrum Monitor. What you're seeing here in this video is win for k 3 Suite controlling an Elecraft K3 and using an SDR Play software-defined radio to display a spectrum from the K3's IF output. In addition, we have N1MM Plus connected to Win for K3 Suites built-in port sharing facility. Now, a nice new feature of N1MM Plus is the new spectrum display. This window, shown here, obtains a spectrum directly from win for k 3 Suite's new Spectrum Broadcast feature. win for k 3 Suite's uh, Spectrum Broadcast feature is actually sending the data that you see within the window here down to N1MM plus spec uh, Spectrum Monitor in real time. If I pan the display in win for k 3 you'll see that it follows along in N1MM plus. If I zoom in or zoom out, for example here I've reset the display to get the full bandwidth and then if I zoom in, let's say just to the CW portion of the band, something like this, you'll see that N1MM follows along appropriately. Now for contests, you're going to want to enable the spotting facility from N1MM. As you can see, I'm using a Telnet cluster here. But if you come into the Spectrum Monitor, you can show spots based on a number of different criteria. I'm going to start off with non-dupes. So I'm going to click on that. You can see the spots show up on the Spectrum. Now today is not the best day for uh, showing spots. I mean, there's not a lot of activity, the conditions are pretty bad, and there is no contest going on. Nonetheless, it gives you an idea of the overall functionality. Now. Since I have these spots, I can just click on them and the radio will QSY as necessary. Um, also, I can now do something which is really, really neat. I can click on only spots you can hear. Now, if I click on that, I can now adjust the threshold of the spectrum display to show the spots that I can hear. So if I take a look at the spectrum, I'm seeing some peaks come above the noise floor. Okay, unfortunately, none of the, the spots that are shown here are following that, but you'll get the idea. So now if I turn the mouse wheel, I can bring it up, and as you see, goes up, spots are disappearing. Okay, so basically it gives you a way of selecting spots that you can hear. Now, like I said, in this case, I'm going to have to move it all the way down into the noise to show the rest of the spots, but that's the basic idea. During a contest, you'll have lots of big peaks, and you'll be able to just adjust it to get the spots that you want. Okay, now that I have demonstrated the overall functionality of the N1MM and win for k 3 Suite Spectrum inter Interoperability, I'd like to just show you how to enable this feature in win for k 3 Suite and N1MM. The first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure that win for k 3 Suite and N1MM are communicating to the radio. This is shown in one of my other win for k 3 videos, so I won't show this here. So what you're going to want to do is come up to Tools, Settings, and then you're going to want to take a look at this new section in the settings called the Pan Adapter UDP Broadcast. There are a number of parameters that need to be set, but by default this is set up to be used with N1MM Plus directly. So you have uh, a stream name. This name has to be a unique name on your network because N1MM Plus can display multiple spectrums from multiple radios, if you wish. So you need to set that name. You need to set an IP address and port. Currently, here, the IP address is set for the local host, that is the local machine, and the port, which is the port that is used by N1MM Plus's spectrum display. There are two other parameters here. There are the data points, the number of data points that are going down to N1MM+. Um, by default, I'm using 2048. 
which is a good number to use. But I also have the capability of sending all the data from the display uh, to another application. That's just not enabled in this case. You can also set the frame rate. Everything you've seen so far has been done with the full frame rate for win for k 3 Suite, but you can set it down to 5 frames per second, 3 frames per second, or 1 frame per second. This is useful if you have an older computer. Okay, so that's basically all you need to do. I can click on Save, and that's done. Now, in N1MM+, Plus, you're going to want to go to Window and pick up Spectrum Display. Now the first thing that has to be done here is that you have to specify what the stream name is that you saw previously. So if I right click here, I can select Spectrum Source and pick for all other radios, we use a named source. So I can enter the name in here or I've already got one. So I'll, I'll pick that. So you just pick it and basically everything is set up. Now, in win for k 3 Suite, you need to enable the broadcast. This is set up so that every time you want to use this feature, you're going to have to enable it so that you're not sending it when you're not using N1MM, for example. So basically, to do this, you're going to want to come up to the Spectrum Display, and you're going to want to right-click on the Control Button panel. That opens up the UDP Spectrum Broadcast. It's very simple. All you have to do is click on Enable, and the spectrum is now running. As you can see, N1MM is showing the spectrum from win for k 3 Suite. You can also adjust the, uh, basically, the reference level, how high the noise is, how high all of the spectrum is. You can set this up and down. Once you've set this once, basically, you don't need to change it for the duration of your contesting session. So basically that's it. It's very simple to use and the N1MM Spectrum Monitor looks like it's going to be an excellent tool for your contesting in the future. Thanks very much for watching this video. Bye.